Hey there, Tim Blanchett with Divorce661.com. We specialize in California divorce. And today I wanted to talk to you about bankruptcy a little bit and credit when it comes to divorce. So we have been seeing a lot of folks who are going through divorce and also going through bankruptcy or soon to be filing bankruptcy. And of course, bankruptcy is one of the major uh, issues surrounding divorce or I should say money problems are a leading cause of divorce. And so you may find yourself going through bankruptcy or having financial problems with your divorce, but I want to talk a little bit more about your credit and how that works related to going through a divorce. So I was talking to uh, a credit repair agency uh, person recently, and we were just having to be chatting about uh, credit and how it affects with, you know, how it's affected by divorce. And a couple of topics came up that I wanted to share with you. Number one, the number one issue with divorce and credit is that when you go through a divorce and let's say you have you know twenty thousand dollars in debt um, and that's going to be paid and agreed to be paid by let's say um, your spouse your spouse has agreed to pay it it's in the agreement it's in the marital settlement agreement it's in the judgment so you have a piece of paper signed by both you and your spouse and the judge ordering and agreeing to the fact that your spouse is going to be responsible for that debt. What you need to know is that the the judge's order and your spouse and your you and your spouse's agreement does not supersede that of the credit card company. So what does that mean? If you have a joint account, a joint um, credit card that has the balance of $20,000 just for simplicity's sake and your spouse agrees to pay it, yet he doesn't or she doesn't, even though it's in the agreement, there's nothing really that you can do. The credit card company does not care about your agreement or the judge's order regarding the credit card debt. They have a credit, you have a credit card that's a joint account where both of you have signed and are responsible for that liability. So that can become a problem where you are have an agreement, yet they're not following through on the agreement and paying it. So what you may want to consider doing is start dividing up your debts, putting them in separate uh, accounts, maybe get a separate credit card before your credit is, is, is ruined by not making these payments. Get a separate credit card. That way you can transfer the debt if it's going to each be paid by half. Um, you know, put $10,000 into each um, credit card account individually, individual credit card account, so your um, credit can't be ruined by your spouse. One of the other things is when you're going through divorce is people's impact, people's credit is impacted negatively because people stop paying debts in some cases. So you guys aren't in agreement. Maybe this, one of the spouses has already moved out of the family home and they stop paying on credit card debt and the credit, your credit um, starts to be ruined. And then what happens is you have no choice. You're not able then to get new credit cards or separate that your credit is already ruined and now you're going to have that problem of filing for bankruptcy if you're not able to get yourself out of that debt if your spouse isn't paying that debt off as agreed and things of that nature so unfortunately most people aren't planning on divorce but if you see that it's around the corner you may want to start separating your debt you need to protect your credit because we have clients again going through bankruptcy at the same time as divorce just adds one more stress to your life it's best if you can get that dealt with uh, beforehand because if you have to file for bankruptcy or even if you don't but you have all this amassed credit card debt that you can't get out from under you're gonna have trouble reestablishing your credit for years especially with the bankruptcy I think it's seven years before that even goes away and so not only do you have a divorce and that on your shoulders but now you have ruined credit and you're gonna need that credit to reestablish yourself to restart your life to um, even rent an apartment I've had uh, um, wives in here who were trying to rent their credit was ruined because uh, of some of the issues we've talked about here and so they had you know they're trying to get letters of reference they had to get co-signers because their credit was really bad because they had stopped paying the bills or were unable to pay the bills or whatever the case may be during the divorce process so just keep that in mind and try and protect your credit uh, don't let that be one more a victim of the divorce. Tim Blankenship, divorce661.com. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.